I don't like driving. I love driving. Nothing like driving down on a Sunday morning, put some rain into it, listening to some great country music. That feeling is just amazing. Trust me. Welcome to the garage, a brand new program exclusively for all you car lovers, vehicle fans out there. Join me in a journey where we eat, drink, sleep and digest vehicles. Make a Samanya Vidya program Gakne Via Pugulanta Visheshima Vishesh Deva to my program again a bala for twenty racing again a good up be making focus cranava or go to races like in the path they go on the G with no deck a path they go on Givahan, they go on Givahan again over Muna Dan Muna Dan Nati Deva, may have a deck and a pick up again or can isa a bit the grandila in the CS and Narika to lean with her away the garage. First long distance driver has been a woman. Well, it's true, the inventor of the modern car is supposed to be Carl Benz, considered to be Carl Benz, and he was not quite sure of his invention, so he used his wife, Bertha Benz, to go uh, drive his car. So obviously, women, women can't be that bad at driving, can they? I'm just kidding. Okay, but anyways, you ask about women drivers, uh, you'll find none other than, uh, none other better than Dilan. Can you ask Dilan, how are you? How have you been doing? I'm good, thank you very much. Uh, what is your perception about women, <laughs> women driving? Well, I think they're a little slow on the road. All right. A little too cautious sometimes. Okay. But then on the road, you have to be cautious. Very true. Having, and s having said that, um, in, our, in our racing, um, Fraternity here in Sri Lanka, we have a couple of good uh, yes, female drivers. I have seen, yes. Yes. Uh, so they're not that bad. They're not Bottom bad. Bottom line of the story. They're, they're getting better. Yes. <laughs> okay, all right. So uh, leaving all that gender uh, bias aside, uh, let's move on to racing. What have you been up to these days? Uh, brief us as to what events are coming up and uh, anything, any significant things that you've been involved with uh, recently? Yes. Um, actually, um, we, we've taken a break since last year. Right. Uh, the last race was um, Kalamu Night Race, mm -hmm. um, which was uh, held in mid-December. And um, since then, we've just, you know, actually taken a step back and relaxed because this is the only time period we get to relax. And then once we start again in February, which mm -hmm. is next month now, and um, once we start off, it'll be really tough again till December. Tell us about your childhood, uh, how you got into well, it. Well, basically, my, my dad was an ardent fan of cars itself, okay. uh, not exactly racing, but <laughs> cars, and he uh, he used to collect classic cars, All right. um, and he used to be quite a fast driver on the road, irresponsible, <laughs> and um, obviously I got it from him, and uh, since then, I mean, from a very young age I started driving, and um, I had a passion for speed, mm -hmm. and eventually um, in 2005 I um, told my parents, you know, I said I really want to race. So Dilan, uh, that, uh, that was about your small days, and uh, do you remember the first car that you drove, uh, I mean, as, uh, as for racing is concerned? Oh yeah, uh, well uh, my, my first race was in 2005 in Pandala. Uh, it was a 1500 Honda, mm -hmm. uh, very similar to this, yeah. it's, uh, but this is a 1600, mm -hmm. so this is much faster. Mm -hmm. But it's actually the sedan version of this, which oh, is a yeah. four-door. And uh, Dilan, talking about your victories and unforgettable moments, would you like to recall some unforgettable things for our viewers here? Uh, any any special things? Maybe uh, well, come to your uh, wins at last yeah. and in the end. But then again, other than that, any any special things, any funny things, hilarious things that you'd want to share with the viewers? Well, yeah. Well, okay. Funny. If I would say any funny things, I would say straight after that first race. Okay. Um, we had a month to prepare for the next race, yeah. which was a gravel race yeah. um, in Anuradhapura called Gajabahar. Right. And uh, we were again in two minds whether to run it or not because the car was in absolute shambles, mm -hmm. so we had to get it ready. But um, like I said, the team I was with at the time were quite uh, the mechanics and you know the, the tuners and all mm -hmm. were like pretty adamant on getting me to race. And I had to tell you that, frankly, I had no hope in getting it ready at the time. But um, closer to the date. Okay, 
to get very frankly it was saturday was qualifying mm. on friday the car was painted and everything was done but not even the glasses were put or the engine was put okay and uh, i came in the afternoon in the garage and i said okay guys are we still doing this and they're like yeah yeah don't worry it'll be ready in the morning so anyway we stayed up all night got everything ready car was fi- prepared we went on saturday morning to qualifying uh, in gajaba so the funny part is this is the first time i ran gravel mm. and it's only my second race okay. and my first lap out on qualifying <laughs> um, i was doing a flying lap and suddenly i heard a weird noise and then i just looked back in my mirror to see my rear glass had blown off because <laughs> it was yeah, um, it was it properly. was not fitted properly not that it was not fitted properly it's just that there was not enough time for the mm. gum to hold hold on and the very next lap i lost uh, brakes ah, okay and you know nothing thank god nothing major happened yeah. we managed to slow the car down but yeah overnight again we got everything ready and started from back of the grid and finished third which i think was a great Bridges, achievement yes, and obviously. yeah so yeah that's that's definitely a funny and unforgettable moment obviously yeah it is indeed <laughs> Okay, Dan. Tell us about your major wins and the tracks which you prefer the most in Sri Lanka. Okay, um, if I am to st- uh, tell you right from the start, uh, when I started off in my 1500, I had um, quite a successful year. Um, I had quite a lot of wins. I can't tell you the exact number, mm-hmm. but um, one of my most favorite races and wins, and I would also combine that with one of the questions, which is one of my most favorite tracks is Fox Hill. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's gravel, mm. and uh, nobody in the world does it like Sri Lankans do. Mm. Must start gravel racing in tracks like that. Mm. You, you saw, you saw foreigners that kind of racing. They literally, you know, shiver. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's um, that's a great track, very mm. fast track. And um, running my 1500 back in 2006 against the 1600s, mm. which was unfortunately I didn't have a 1600. Mm. So when I ran my 1500 against all the big boys in this class mm. at the time. I won that race, right. and I won it quite comfortably, mm. if I would say. That would be um, that would be my first unforgettable win, mm. as such. Um, thereafter, I've had quite a lot of wins in mm. total. I have about twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four wins, about twenty-three to about twenty second places. Mm. Total, I have about fifty podiums. All right. And um, other than that, more more uh, significant wins, I would say. 2011, the Colombo Night Race, mm. which was the inaugural night race, mm. uh, I won that, right. and in the 1600 event, mm. which was quite a big event, with, which is considered to be one of the best events mm. in Sri Lanka at the moment. That win was really important. So, did I tell us uh, the difference it makes when it comes to a bigger engine like 1600 and 1500? Uh, it seems to be a very small margin, but then when it comes to racing, it, I'm sure it does a quite a big, uh, quite a big deal. Yeah. Uh, tell our viewers what what difference it makes because I I you personally thought that it was about the BHP, it's about the suspension and all that. What difference does 100 cc make? Uh, like, okay, the thing is this: it's not just the 100 cc; mm. it's a combination. Mm. It's a combination of. the car okay. the balance the engine power the suspension the brakes everything comes into mm. play uh, as you said sometimes 100 cc absolutely doesn't matter mm. but the difference is uh, if you go back to that one example where i said 15 or 600 mm-hmm. the difference between the 1500 of this and the 1600 is that uh, the 1500 is a 1500 single overhead cam mm. and the 1600 is a 1600 dual overhead cam mm. so the bhp difference is about 50 plus okay 50 that's 60 plus that's a lot and to tell you something about this particular model mm. this is a phenomenal car mm. this honda is in this 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 model was uh, in production in the early 90s all the way to the mid 90s and if i am to, i can safely say that there is not one car in the world mm. up to date that can keep up with this particular model right. in a 1600 cc class because mm-hmm. it, it's not it's not mm-hmm. proven i mean up to date there's nothing that can take down a honda 1600 i mean in this class in this family you get the type r mm-hmm. yes. uh, which is the ek model type r and the eg6 mm-hmm. eg5 eg4 eg6 so that range so these these models are really really quick cars mm-hmm. 
and they handle really well. Mm. So in that aspect, I mean, going back, you said 1500. If you can, if you just completely get forget about the 1500. This particular model even would give a car like an Evolution or a Subaru right. turbo, a two liter, a run for its money really on a track. As far as timings are concerned, they're really close. Mm. And, you know, given the right day and the right time and the right driver, it could even take down one of those big turbos. All right, so uh, a lot more to talk with Dilan uh, regarding his trophies, his wins, about women, everything. So uh, stay tuned with CSN exclusively and only on CSN. <laughs> Alright, you are back with the garage and Dilan is still with me. Dilan, uh, tell me about your team uh, and your trophies as well. We have a big trophy here. Tell me about everything, your team with the you race with and uh, your most valuable trophies, yes. Okay, um, this year is a national championship award okay. which I received in 2011 mm. in the Honda class, this particular okay. class. Um, actually, this is for hill climbs. Mm. So, uh, we have uh, a few hill climbs here we run in Sri Lanka. Uh, which is like a, it's, a, it's like a time trial. It's uh, single single cars go up and it's on the best timing. So I won the national championship for the hill climbs in 2011, and yeah, so that's the championship trophy. Hoping to get a lot more of those. Sure, you will. Yeah. And about your team? Well, I'm um, since uh, December last year, since Colombo Night Race, mm. which was my first uh, race with uh, Team Is Racing, mm. uh, Sri Lanka's premier racing yeah. team. The, actually, it's the only professional racing team okay. currently in mm -hmm. the island. And I'm um, truly honored and privileged to be a part of this team. And yeah, so hopefully it'll be a good couple of seasons to come in the next two years. All right, so thank you very much, Dilan, for joining us today. It was a pleasure having you on the show. All the very best for all your future races and all your other endeavors. Thank you very much. Uh, and I will get into more detail about this baby of yours uh, with your mechanics uh, to see how they get about with the tuning process and everything. So thanks again. Uh, I shall go somewhere there to, to find the mechanic. Okay? Yeah. All right, thank super, you. super. ो रेस एक कर इससे ला कोमा द मेकार का साकास कराने मुकदम डिलान इससे ला मटकी वामर मात्र का है यहाँ के पालेगन रेस से के हरी दिवन रेस से के हरी कार कार ये डर सेट करने तो यहाँ उन्हें दूर ना करता बिटिया के ना बिटिया हुआ मुकाद करी क्या मुकाद एक ऐसी ने विशेष आते को हम लोगों को लेकर कराने के ने अपने लिस्टे का तीन वाले लिस्टे का नो अपने उसको में चेक करना ये लिस्टे के अडूपाड़ वाले तीन वाला अपने इलाग रेस वाले काली ये लिस्टे के उसको में अडूपाड़ भाग दला ऐ जानना पुलन करते रह पत कर मैं मैं एंजिन ने कहा तो ले अपने क्या है वाह इतना आकार है मंदर ना तीन है मध्यक में वैदेगात में कोटा सा है वो ना कोटा से तो दुबारा नहीं बै ये रेसिंग कार एक कट वैदेगात में कोटा से मुकाद मैं आप इतने क्या मुली में मैं मैं को मुकाद मैं तो बोल चाह जैसे कर दे मुकाद दे हाई कर एक आपे सामान्य हो गए यहाँ फिल्टर का डालो ओ हरी यहाँ फिल्टर आपे सुधर कर ला न तंग रिपेस कर ला आपे डालो हरी ये वाले में तो बिना 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 सामान्य कार वाले नहीं विशेष आंगे एक मौका भी मेक दक्षिण तीन आदेश जिन्ने के वो लोग बिना महाय कर रेसिंग कास वाले विशेष होने दिया रेसिंग कास कार वाल विशेष ही कंपेसर के तमाम हमको बालापान है लेकिन कंपेसर के अभी इंजन महादला और वाटर ला अभी हमारे रेसिंग का रेसिंग का कंपेसर का चेक करना अभी कंपेसर चेक कर ले कंपेसर का डालना कंपेसर आडू ना अभी नया तो रिप्लेस कर ला करना और वैटर कोटस करना 
හරි මේ මේ හොන්ඩ එක ආයා හොන්ඩ එක ආයා කියලා ගත්තම ගොඩක්ම කට්ටිය ගොඩක් මතයක් තියෙන්නේ ගොඩක් ටෙක්නොලොජිකලි ඇඩ්වාන්ස් කා එකක් කියලා තමයි සාමාන්‍ය කාස් එක බැලුම තාක්ෂණික තමයි දියුණු කා එකක් කියලා තමයි හොන්ඩ කා එක ගැන කියන්නේ Honda SIR කියන විශේෂ වූ මාධ්‍යක වාහනයක් එක තමයි අපි ඉතුල ඉන්නේ රේසින් මොඩිෆයිඩ් වාහනයක් අසංගමට ඉස්සර ගෝගේ මේක එක්සෝස්ට් එක සාමාන්‍ය වාහනයකට නේ විශේෂයි අපිට කියන්න මොකද්ද කොහොමද ඒක වෙන්නේ මොකද්ද මෙතන තියෙන්නේ කියන එක එක්සෝස්ට් සිස්ටම් එකත් එක්ක මේ කාර් එක සාමාන්‍ය වාහන එක අදලොත් එක්සෝස්ට් ටයිප් එක තියෙනවා බෙන්ඩ් වෙලා තියෙනවා ඔව් බෙන්ඩ් වෙලා තියෙනවා ද සමුත් මේක මේ අපි දැන් කෙලින්ම එක්සෝස්ට් වායුව ඉන්ජින් මේ නිපන පිට වෙන එක්සෝස්ට් වායුව කෙලින්ම අපි එකම නලයක් දිගේ කෙලින්ම ඉවතර දානවා කෙලින්ම මෙතන කෙලින් බටයක් තියෙනවා කෙලින් බටය ඉතින් ඒකින්ද එහෙම නිසා වැඩිම වැඩි බලයක් අපිට එන්ජින් මේ ලබා ගන්න පුළුවන් වැඩි එක්සෝස්ට් එකක් ඇඳෙන්නේ නැහැ ඒ කියන්නේ එන්ජින් මේ ඒ කියන්නේ මෙතනින් කෙලින්ම පවර කෙලියට ගියාම අපිට වැඩි බලයක් එන්ජින් මේ ලබා දෙනවා ඒ වගේම එක්සෝස්ට් එක මට පේනවා මෙතනින් ඉවරෙනවා සාමාන්‍ය වාහනයක නම් අපිට ඉවරෙන්න සාමාන්‍ය ඒ වාහන ඉවරනවත් එක්කම තමයි එක්සෝස්ට් පයිප් එක ඉවර වෙන්නේ मेतन अभी दुमेटी सस्पेंशन uh, 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 uh